there are only an infinite number of ways to stuff up writing an algorithm. And actually, it's fairly common practice that as, a, as you develop yourself as a programmer, as you become better at programming, what you do is you write your algorithm and you assume that you've got loads of mistakes in it. And if you do that, you can start doing something about it. You run loads of tests on it to make sure it works exactly how you think it does. But what I'm going to do in this video is sort of show you some of the really common mistakes that uh, that are made by when you're writing algorithms. And then hopefully that will help. If you're given a question where you're asked to correct an algorithm, maybe you'll spot one of these mistakes because these are sort of very common uh, sort of issues that you might be asked to, to identify. I'm going to split into two, to, uh, two types. We've got syntax errors and we've got logic errors. Um, just have a look at the video about those two different types of errors if you're not sure what they mean. We're going to focus first on a classic uh, syntax error, uh, which is missing punctuation. So have a look at these two um, statements and see if you can spot immediately where the errors are with them. So there you go. I'm hoping that, that you'll be able to spot them fairly quickly. I uh, believe these are common, really common sort of syntax errors. It's just missing in this case here uh, a pair of speech marks at the front. So if I've got a string to print out here, I need to make sure that they're present. And on this, uh, this second line here, it's missing a bracket. You should always have the same number of closing brackets uh, as you do opening brackets. So count them out on the line. So I've got one open here. I should have one closed there. Really, really common problem. Uh, this also is a very common when you try to concatenate strings. So when you're trying to sort of add strings together. Let's give a quick example of that now. That will not work because I have missed off my pair of speech marks uh, across the second world, you know, uh, second word rather. Um, it might work if I've got a variable called world, but if I wanted to print out hello world, then I need speech marks around that as well. Yeah, it's really, really common. Next one is just misspelling variable names, and this is really common as well. And we're in this weird place in computer science. Now, to be honest, if you misspell a word, but you do it consistently all the way through, you'll be okay. But quite often, um, you'll do something like this. You'll have my color uh, there, which is spelled in the English way, which is how it should be if you're from, from the UK. Um, and then you might do something like this, print um, my color like that. And you expect maybe the word blue to be printed out. But what have I done? Well, yeah, I've missed off my U. I've spelt it in the American style, which is not what we should be doing. So here, that will give you a syntax error. And then I would need to change that uh, to be O-U-R. But this is also a really common problem as well, if I show you this one. So have a look at that there. Why might that not print out? And this is uh, why that, well, that causes a syntax error in particular. Really, really common problem. Have a look here. Look what I've done. I've got a capital C there, but I've used a lowercase c there. So as far as the computer is concerned, they are comp two completely separate variables, so it won't work. So I have to there change that uh, so it's exactly matching um, the case of my letters as well. So it has to be a capital C. So they're two really common syntax errors, punctuation uh, and very misspelling variable names. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.